Hi, kitty cats. I had a conversation recently about so-called basic science, that XX always means female, XY always means male, and if I can't recognize that, well, I must simply be ignorant. My response was to point out what truly determined human development of reproductive parts, and that genetics is by no means basic. My opponent, let's call him Jim, exclaimed, nah, those are outliers. They hardly count. It's 99% true. As a scientist, however, I know very well that outliers is where the real science occurs. So, Jim, let's return to my example of the visible light spectrum. As you look around you, Jim, easily 99% of what you perceive is visible light. But the visible band of the electromagnetic spectrum is a very small sliver. So, Jim, let me tell you what would have happened if scientists had considered the rest of the spectrum outliers that hardly count. We'd miss out on radio waves, Jim, which is how you're able to doom scroll Instagram as you sit alone with your cell phone on Saturday nights. We'd also miss out on infrared light, which is what's keeping your Chick-fil-A warm under those red bulbs as you fumble for spare change. And what about those groovy Grateful Dead posters you had on your walls in college? Well, with no ultraviolet light, Jim, you'd have had much less fun. Oh, and don't worry, Jim, I know you were only experimenting. But speaking of experimentation, remember when you broke your arm showing off to Judy on a slack line, Jim? Well, luckily we also have x-rays, which diagnose that you'd be better in no time. Too bad Judy stranded you at the drive-in though. Bum rap. And finally, humanity would also miss out on gamma rays. And your favorite hero, the Incredible Hulk, would not exist, preventing you from expressing the intellectual equivalent of Jim Smash as you discuss genetics. As you can see, Jim, the real science is in the outliers. Unfortunately, 99% just isn't good enough for science. I hope that helped, Jim. Talk soon. Bye.